three, two, one. I have here the so-called toner cartridge of a printer and it is full of the black powdered um, pigment. I'm going to try to replace it with PETN, penta erythritol tetranitrate. Now, the container in which they're putting, which I'm trying to empty, is supposed to contain a powder. So, if the man looking, or woman looking at the x-ray screen sees a powder, um, that's nothing to get excited about at all. So, what is inside here is wonderfully hidden. I'm going to try now to pour this in. It's quite a free-flowing powder, which should help. I'm first of all going to give it a bit of a wipe. Uh, apparently, the uh, bombers did have the, um, the good sense to wipe the thing down and clean it, possibly with some solvents, uh, uh, in order to prevent the thing being detected simply by the vapour of explosive accidentally deposited and left behind on the outside. So let me put our bomb back inside the slot. So this is now a bomb. It's a container which looks innocuous and it contains a significant amount of explosive, enough to cause serious damage to an airplane. We have placed that onto uh, an aluminium tabletop about two or three millimetres thick. This simulates to some slight extent an airplane's fuselage skin and any damage therefore caused on it will be uh, significant to the airplane if it's in the air at the time. I shall not be uh, initiating by means of a timing mechanism of course, I shall use uh, simply a cable going to the detonator and will fire it thus. So I'm now going to walk this cable back along that path. All right, I'm about to fire, okay? Firing! Four, three, two, one! Three, two, one.